Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, my name is Georgia and today I'm going to be watching season 5, episode 5 of Supernatural. If you want access to my uncut reactions, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. Last episode was one of the best episodes of the whole show so far. I absolutely loved it. We had one of Zachariah's what if scenarios where he was trying to show Dean what would happen if he continued to say no to Michael in an effort to convince Dean to say yes to being Michael's vessel. Unfortunately for him, it had the adverse effect and I am so glad it did. The scenario was absolutely awful. It was basically the end of the world. Sam had accepted being Lucifer's vessel, so we had Lucifer and Sam's body in this 2014 future world and the Croatoan virus came back which was a epic surprise. That virus was practically wiping out the world and Dean, oh my gosh, Dean was so different and Castiel but Dean was so cutthroat and he was willing to sacrifice anyone in order to take down Lucifer slash Sam. He really had like no ties to anyone. He was a complete lone wolf, didn't care who got killed in the crossfire and Dean was like, Dean, real Dean, was like, we don't do this. We have never done this. I, it, we are a team. We always fight together and die together. So this basically showed Dean that he doesn't want to become this version of himself and the reason he became that way is because he never got in touch with Sam not because he didn't accept being Michael's vessel. I wholeheartedly believe that Dean and Sam are better when they're together. They are great apart, but if they're apart for five years, that scenario could very well come true. I know it was probably all made up by Zachariah, but I, I do think they were completely changed. We even saw Sam become pretty similar to that when Dean kept dying in Mystery Spot and that was back then before any of the angels were even introduced so God only knows what could happen to either of them if they spend years apart in this current scenario. Thankfully Dean made the right decision and he called up Sam at the end and said that he wants to continue working with him. So we are back to the Winchesters as a duo. They have been sorely missed. Even though the last two episodes were brilliant episodes with them apart. It is nice to have them back together. And Castiel, what a downgrade that was. Future Castiel. Funny lines, but our Castiel has funny lines. Angel Castiel is way better than this downtrodden ex-angel that was occurring in that 2014 timeline. As Dean said to him, don't ever change because Castiel as he is now is brilliant. And I'd say the same to Sam and Dean. I don't want either of them to change either. I think where they're at, okay, no, maybe a little bit. <laughs> the thing I would change about Dean and Sam Dean specifically, is to trust each other more. But I understand Sam kind of needs to earn Dean's trust back a bit. So hopefully he can do that in these next few episodes so that things aren't as strange between them anymore. But the team's back on form and I'm so, so happy. You're not telling me that this is... Yep. You found it? Little bastard. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. We need to record this for posterity's sake. Great idea. Oh, that means spirit or ghost? It's going to be great recording this for posterity's sake. So they're wrong. What's the damage? <gasps> oh, I really expected that kind of damage. Dude suffers a head-on collision in a parked car. I'd say it's worth checking out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but. We got bigger problems, don't you think? If the cult is really out there somewhere, and we've been looking for three weeks, we got bubkis. It's been three weeks and it's still a bit tense, isn't it? This is our first real case back at it together. You know, I think we ought to ease into it. Put the training wheels back on. Did that just say Paris Hilton is a guest star in this? What? We already booked the guy that did it. His friend? I'm sorry. Who do you think did it? Sicko taped his own handiwork. What? You are a terrible know. cop. How exactly did Jim slam Cal into a windshield with all the force of an 80 mile per hour crash? Drugs, maybe? Jeez. It was the car that did it. Little bastard. As in, the little bastard? Uh, uh, what's little bastard? It's James Dean's car. It's the one he was killed in. 
Yeah, oh. that's the one. Cal been looking for it for years. Well, after James Dean died, his mechanic bought the wreckage and he fixed it up. And it repaid him by falling on him. I take it this is real because James Dean is a very famous person. If I and if I go about telling people this piece of news, I'm not going to look like an idiot, am I? If this car is little bastard, I will bet you dollars to donuts it's what killed the guy. Okay, baby. I'm not going to hurt you, so don't hurt me. How dare you call another car baby? Need a flashlight? <laughs> no. At the risk of sounding like an idiot, what is the pencil for? Oh, to write it down. Did he just hurry up? In fact, can't you just read it from memory? It's literally P9061. You did it, well done. <clears throat> I am actually an agent for William Morris Endeavor. <laughs> they have way too many cards. <laughs> In Philadelphia, drove it till he died in 1972. So you're saying that Porsche is not, nor has it ever been, James Dean's car. Oh. Then what was it that killed the guy? Good question. It's you. Who? You're supposed to be dead. I feel like I'm gonna sound really stupid again. No, no. That's not Abraham Lincoln, is it? <laughs> Whenever they say you're supposed to be dead, it usually means that they have killed the person. But if that actually is Abraham Lincoln, I don't think that guy could have killed him. But what's your reasonable explanation? It was his maid. Professional killer. Oh. Come again? Mind if we talk with a witness? Be my guest. She's not making any sense. And she's not making any sense in Spanish either. This really restores your faith in the justice system, doesn't it? When you see people like that. Now, uh... You said you saw something in the professor's house, right? Something in the window. Estamos sacando la basura. Mire por la ventana. Uh, Alvarez, uh, call me say por favor. Uh... I thought he was about to come out being fluent then. You mean like a like a stovepipe hat? Sí. Oh yeah, you know, like Abraham Lincoln. Yes. <laughs> El presidente Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, kill Mr. Hill. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> Huh. Very odd reaction to have if a dead president from many, many years ago. You're supposed to be dead. My crazy or does that look like James Dean? That looks like James Dean. <gasps> Professor Hill was a Civil War nut. He dug Lincoln. The Cal must have been a James Dean freak. Super pissed off ghosts killing their super fans. Hmm. Who would Sam and Dean's celebrity ghosts be who do we reckon they're a fan of Ooh. wax museum so one of these will probably be next dude he's short hey connie was a great man but for a smurf <laughs> so disrespectful i don't suppose that uh, william hill and cal hopkins were regulars were they uh, as a matter of fact they were imagine him Moving around. You ever seen anything like that? Uh, no. That's on the stage real hat. Huh. It is. Almost like his remains. Yup. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> this guy's so freaked out. You wouldn't happen out. to have any of James Dean's personal effects, would you? Oh, yeah, got his keychain. I've been working on a new collection of figures. Stuff that would really wow the kids. The kids? Yeah, Gen Y. Gen Y being the kids. Yeah, Abraham Lincoln and James Dean. Can you believe that? Why so kill crazy? Uh, maybe the apocalypse has got him all hot and bothered. Who's Dean talking to? Yeah, well, we all know. Oh, Bobby, is. probably. Who's on the phone? Bobby. And? Nothing. So we're just going to pretend I didn't hear what I just heard? Pretend or don't pretend. Whatever floats your boat. What did he say? Uh, maybe the apocalypse has got him all hot and bothered. Yeah, well, we all know whose fault that is. I missed that! Oh, no, no, no! This was supposed to be a fresh start, Dean. Well, this is about as fresh as it gets. Are we going or not? Making digs? That's not fair. Four score and seven years ago, I had a funny hat. Dean, torch the ghosts, get out of here, okay? Poor owner's gonna be heartbroken, though. I can just imagine them all suddenly coming to life at once and it being like an absolute gore fest. 
Why are you making eye contact? This is atrocious. Hey. What is that one hanging up there? No! Who's it gonna be? My guess is Gandhi. Oh, it is! <laughs> Gandhi would never have done this. Is that Gandhi? Yeah. yeah. Dude, he's squirrely. <laughs> A little help. Couldn't have been a fan of someone cool. Wait, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Really? Gandhi? Sam is a Gandhi super fan. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not so sure this thing is over. It was a ghost. It was a weirdly supercharged fruitarian ghost, but it was still a ghost. Now, let's go. If you don't listen to him. You're the one that wanted back in, Chief. And you're the one who called me back. This isn't a partnership anymore. I still think we've got some trust building to do. How long am I going to be on double secret probation? So what, am I supposed to just let you off the hook? No. You can think whatever you want. I deserve it. And worse. Hell, you'll never punish me as much as I'm punishing myself. It has to be a two-way street. So we just go back to the way we were before? No, because we were never that way before. Before didn't work. One of the reasons I went off with Ruby was to get away from you. It made me feel strong, like I wasn't your kid brother. Oh my gosh, I wasn't are expecting you that, that one. What do you want me to do? Trust him on this one. You're gonna have to let me grow up, for starters. I guess you were right about this not being over. I thought she'd be nice. I still can't believe it. Believe what? She took Danielle. Who? Paris Hilton. Oh. Uh, she's not dead, though. Where did they go? We don't know. You just vanished. Paris Hilton's not dead, as far as we know, right? Pretty sure. No. Which means it's not a ghost. No. So either Paris Hilton is a homicidal maniac or, or we miss him. Oh, I don't know how they can do this stuff. <sighs> what is that? What are those seeds? Yeah, they were in both Vic's bellies. I hope you washed your hands. So, local legend has it that the forest was guarded by a pagan god whose name was Leshy. Let me guess. He liked to munch on his fans. <laughs> Yep. How do we kill him? It says here to chop off his head with an iron axe. She alive? Yeah, barely. The actual Paris Hilton. So glad you're awake for this. This is gonna be huge. I've been stuffing myself with fast food lately, so it's nice to do the ritual right. Prepare a nice, slow meal for a change. Three courses as well. People adored me. They used to throw themselves at me with smiles on their faces. I guess these days nobody gives a flying crap about some backwoods forest god, huh? Not since they cut down my forest and built a Yugo plant. March of progress, sister. Someone tripped the apocalypse. And I thought, what the hell? I'm tired of watching what I eat. They worship Lincoln, Gandhi, Hilton. Whatever. I'll take what I can get. You know, I gotta tell you, you are not the first god we've met, but you are the nuttiest. You can't eat me. See, I'm not a Paris Hilton BFF. I've never even seen House of Wax. All you ever wanted was to be loved by your idol. One distant father figure coming right up. How does Dean always manage to untie himself? It's, it's an incredible skill. Didn't just come off in one hit then. Not a word. Dude, you just got wailed on Paris <laughs> Hilton. Kind of did seem like he was a low-key fan though, because he mentioned that he's never seen House of Wax. Never heard of it, but I'm assuming Paris Hilton was on it. Oh, maybe you're right. I mean, look, I'm not exactly Mr. Innocent in this whole mess either. You know, I did break the first seal. You didn't know. Yeah, well, neither did you. Yeah. You did kill Lilith. And start the apocalypse. Which neither of us saw coming. I mean, who'd have thought killing Lilith would have been a bad thing? So for that, I'm sorry. Wow. Thanks. We gotta just grab onto whatever's in front of us, kick its ass, and go down fighting. I can get on board with that. Okay. How long is this gonna last, though? Because sometimes they have these chats and then backtrack on it an episode or two later. Oh. You wanna drive? 
be all the time privilege. You sure? Yeah, I could, uh, I could use a nap. Now that is an olive branch and a hall. This is the car we love to see. The most trustworthy. It's been a while since we've had a standard monster of the week, I feel like. Like, episode 2 was a bit monster of the weeky, but there was just so much plot as well. Like, there was one of the four horsemen in it, and Eleanor Joe came back. I call that plot, okay? This is just Sam and Dean hunting OG season 1 vibes. Although the dynamic is so different from season one, but we'll get onto that. A normal monster of the week, it, it's definitely not my favourite episode. It's just like, you know, a benchmark supernatural episode, I'd say. Some monster of the weeks I absolutely love, like season four. There was a couple that I, I would say I almost stand, but this wasn't one of those for me. It was just, you know, a monster of the week. I did really like that moment with Sam and Dean at the end. It was unexpected, but I liked Sam telling Dean that the reason he got involved with Ruby was because he wanted to get away from Dean. I wasn't expecting that at all, and I didn't really think of it that way, to be fair. That's how he felt, and his feelings are valid because Dean has always been the more dominant one of the two if it's even fair to say that. He does like to take the charge and it's because he has more experience with the hunting he's been hunting non-stop his whole life whereas Sam obviously he had a long break when he went to college and then came back into it so he's always felt like he is the one that knows all and a lot of the time Dean is right to be fair to him but it must be so exhausting for Sam being undermined in that way and this time he was right about the case and if they had left they would have had to turn around and they would have wasted a whole load of petrol for nothing so it should have just be Dean calling the shots all the time humans are not made to bow down to other humans and they're brothers and partners and it should never be so one-sided their relationship so I really hope that Dean is able to adhere to what Sam said and try and make it a more equal partnership and I do want the snarky comments to stop because yes Sam broke the final seal but Dean did break the first one and I feel like everyone in the show seems to forget that fact and I don't blame either of them really for what they have done and for causing this it was all purely accidental, it all purely played into the angels and demons hands but the blame shouldn't solely lie with Sam and that's what's frustrating um, so if the snarky comments could stop that would be brilliant I really, what I want most out of this season is I really want Sam to prove himself not just to Dean but to everyone like this is one of those instances where I hope Sam saves the day in the end because I feel like he is the one that is deemed to have the most redemption to do and also being the vessel of Lucifer, the literal cause of the end of the world, if he is the one to stop his true form or whatever they refer to it as, I feel like that would just be completely epic. I'm very glad they didn't go with the route that I thought they were going to go on with the, the car being a spirit and it having a mind of its own and killing people a bit like the episode in season one. The tie-ins with celebrities was cool and they actually got Paris Hilton in the show as well to act her part. The most surprising part of all of this was that Sam is a Gandhi super fan. Never ever would have guessed that. I did say who do we think their idol celebrities would be and John wasn't a celebrity, but we all know that that is Dean's idol. But if he was actually a celebrity, I'd be interested to know who people think it would have been. Obviously a dead one, one that was dead in 2009, not one that has died since. I don't know a lot about the people that he references, like he goes on about these bands like Led Zeppelin and stuff, and I don't know if any of the Led Zeppelin members are dead or alive today or were dead back then. I don't even know how old the band is, so maybe it would be one of them if they were dead. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching my reaction to Season 5, Episode 5 of Supernatural. If you want access to my uncut reactions, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for Episode 6. Bye. I like them sweet, but not in pimples on the cheeks. I bet you taste.